I'm tired and I just got my ass wet. Went for a walk here at Line Creek Nature Area in Peachtree City, Georgia. I'm tired. I just walked the entire, well, probably not the entire. I missed a couple of the small trails, but <clears throat> yeah. I'm in cinematic, so you can't really see nothing. But this is what I meant by seeing life through my eyes instead of the inside of my car. Life through my eyes. The beauty. So yeah, the fuckery, the BS, came to do a winch out on somebody's car today, or this morning, and I wasn't trained on extra muddy, extra muddy uh, places. So now I'm stuck. So now I have to wait on my brother who is about 50 something minutes away to come and get me unstuck. And then I have to try and get this car out because the car is now on my back. And yeah. So like I was saying, car stuck, me stuck, have to get my brother to come winch me out now. Which means I'm probably going to have to get the car off and then he's going to have to winch me out. This is the type of shit. This is the type of shit that I am ready to give up. Because as of today, I put in a one month notice to quit. With my diabetes and everything going on, It's extremely hard for me to be out in the elements. I was on time for work this morning compared to the last couple of months. I was late. It's probably about 30 minutes to 45 minutes late every single day. And I was on time this morning because I didn't take my massive shit that I always take. So... Now I have to shit and I'm stuck. I have to piss and I'm stuck. So life through my eyes sucks. Wasn't properly trained. The winch out that I did before wasn't this muddy. It was still on gravel. So yeah.
unfortunately, being a tow truck driver, you have to wait sometimes on a customer. Customer told me that GPS was saying that she would be here in 11 minutes. It's probably been about 15 minutes, which is what I told my dispatcher, so that she could add wait time. And sometimes the call says things like, keys are in cup holder. Well, I called the customer when I got here and keys are not in cup holder, customer has keys. So I have to wait on her. And then the next problem is, this truck cannot handle picking up a Chevrolet Suburban backwards. So whether she likes it or not, I'm gonna have to back her Suburban or put it in neutral and push it backwards out of the parking spot so that I can pick it up forwards. Because if not, my truck's gonna do this when I go up a hill. I've got a headache. Don't know why. My sugar's not spiking. So, I know it's not that. But, I don't know if I've said in previous videos that I'm a 1099. I am basically a contractor for the company that I work for and with all my medical issues and whatnot going on in my life I need insurance and unfortunately I'm not buying any insurance from healthcare.gov because I'm not going to get anything I'm not going to get anything worth anything so I pretty much gave my bosses a one month notice yesterday that I was going to be leaving because I I can't I can't pay I mean I have an I have another issue going wrong with my body I don't know what it is but if for any reason in the future I have to get x-rays I have to get, get an MRI if I have to go to a specialist I'm not paying anywhere between $10,000 and $40,000 bill. Sorry. I've had to have x-rays before where I slipped and fell when I worked for AutoZone. When I was working over the road, it completely knocked me out. Um, because I guess I fell on my face. Um, and I seen that bill before insurance. And that bill was... I don't know, anywhere between thirty and forty thousand dollars. I think it was thirty-four thousand or something like that. No, it was almost forty-four thousand for the X-rays. And insurance pretty much paid all but like twelve hundred dollars of it. I'm not looking to go into major debt because doctors are trying to. Uh, pay off their student loans. I'm not trying to live out on the street because I have a $40,000 doctor bill I can't pay. And they're going to be like, oh, well, you can pay us $1,000 a month or a thousand every two weeks. Like, I don't even make that much. What makes you think I'm going to pay that? While I'm going to throw this out there, you have, you have companies or you have like people out there who are illegal in this country and they get x-rays, they get MRIs, they get medications, next to nothing. And then their bills, there are no doctor bills. They're illegal. They can't trace or put that stuff on their, their numbers or, you know, whatever. So it's, you know, a little fucked up that people come into this country illegally and they get to go to the hospital for free 
oh, but it's not free. I'm the one paying the bill. My tax dollars pay for the bill. And from here on out, honestly, I think they need to make them pay. And that looks like that may be the customer. Yep, I think that's the customer. Okay. And that's how you put a Chevy Suburban on the back of the truck. Oh yeah, that's right. Y'all didn't see it. <clears throat> and I think that's a one-way... Oh, no. Nope, it's not. Okay. Friday. It's the navy blue. It's got navy blue leather on it too. Well, maybe if you had your blinker on, dumb. You know, that's the reason why your car's up. She had a Hyundai Elantra. It looked like somebody had T-boned her in the side, as well as her front bumper was completely gone. So when I stopped at the stop sign, I made a complete stop. She did not. I started pulling forward and she goes, like, maybe if you had your fucking blinker on, somebody would know that you had to turn. But when it comes to your car, your car is so fucked up because you don't know how to drive. These fucking Noonans, I swear. And then on top of that, she looked like a damn Karen. She had the whole whole Karen like whole Karen like do going on in 900 feet turn right on lower Fayetteville road why are you trying to make me go that way no turn right on lower Fayetteville road or I can just go straight Unless they close this road down again. No, they didn't. Mines. Turn left on State Route 34. And uh, there went my brother. going all the way up the interstate the Sonoya Road I will never know why can't I just take 34 all the way out to Fayetteville it probably has it on there to where I can turn right into Mr. Transmission instead of left <laughs> oh god <laughs> oh god I got the hickam of mups I just love this turn right here Has me want to cream myself. I knew that was going to happen. I knew he was going to turn around. Then again, he was probably turning around anyway. Then exit right to I 85 North. Oh, oh shit. Makes me want to cream myself. This suburban literally just leaned over so far. I'm just like, oh shit. Like it leaned, leaned, like. Exit right to I 85 North. Fat Joe leaning back in a video. Leaned. All because of that flat tire. Uh, in which case, I'm going to get out and put another strap on this motherfucker. 
because that leaned way too far. And that y'all are not gonna see. Okay. So I legit just hurried up and put the other strap on. Haha, <laughs> strap on. Anyways, I'm trying, I'm trying to do right because they've treated me right. So, <clears throat> it almost feels like the way it looks, it almost feels like the whole entire Suburban shifted. The driver's side tire, driver's side front tire, is now over more than it was. And that flat tire on the passenger side front is very close to the rail. But, I don't know. I put another strap on there. Just for extra caution extra safety because last thing I want is a second day of if you're on YouTube please like subscribe hit that bell notification icon to get notified about 30 minutes before I post a new video change the notification icon to all um, if you're on Facebook watch like follow share comment if you're on YouTube share comment and I'll see y'all in the next one